Hello, and welcome to another video from Ellensburg Amplifier Repair and Service. Uh, sorry, I had to adjust this camera here. Um, I, it was made to my attention that somebody does not like seeing their board sitting here. So I had to adjust some things. But uh, today <clears throat> I'm going to go over showing you how I repair what I consider moderately damaged vias. And as you can see on the board here, uh, we do have some power supply transistor vias that are gone. The via is gone and it has burned up the PCB. Uh, so I had already gone through and I had dremeled out the uh, carbonized section of the PCB. As you can just see on the board here. So what I do is I dremel it out till I get down to some good layers of fiberglass. And what you're left with are holes, pits and holes in the board. <clears throat> so once I clean up the carbonized section of the board, what I do is I just make sure that my area is clean of any residual stuff to keep uh, my UV resin from sticking or adhering where I want it to go. So I'm just doing a quick cleanup here of the area. Now underneath the board, what I do is I just take a piece of tape and I'll stick that piece of tape. You can just see the edge of the tape here underneath the board. Um, I make sure it's completely flat, under, flat underneath and I cleaned up with isopropyl alcohol, make sure there's no flux or anything to keep the tape from sticking. And then I use uh, the eraser of a pencil and I just rub it onto the board, make sure it's flat. And that's kind of how I prepare the PCB itself for my resin. And if you notice we're missing a pretty good section of board here so we don't have any vias we don't have anything to orient the transistor legs in place but we do have one at least one via left in each one so what i do is i take a spare transistor this is just a fake uh irfb 4127 and i'm just going to pop it in place so i'm going to make sure my transistor legs are straight and I'm actually going to pop it through that cellophane tape with without making a lot of movement. You don't want to wiggle it too much. You'll tear that cellophane tape. And that tape is going to act as like a seal around the leg of that transistor. And the same thing for the other one. just until the legs poke through. That's why the board is elevated so I can stick my finger underneath and feel the leg of that transistor. That's the easy part. I was dremeling it and preparing it for the resin. Uh, what I use is, what I use is a my little micro grinder with a really fine point dremel tip and I just dremel out the bad section kind of like doing dental work so that is ready for resin and I'm not going to use any pigment in this one it's just going to be clear there's really no need for a pigment in this and just let you know if you use pigments in your UV resin, it does uh, create can create some issues when it comes to curing the resin. Um, I mean, I could do red, but the red that I use, I mean, this stuff is not meant for UV resin. Um, it's actually meant for two-part epoxy. Uh, 
That's my Orion Red is what I call it. I'll just put a little, there we go, <laughs> just a slight little drop. So I'm going to bring the camera up to widen out this view. Just I just wanted to make sure you guys had a little clear image here of the section that's getting rebuilt. So let me raise this camera up here so you can see what I'm doing. So I use just a little flexible tray. Flexible is kind of key if you like to keep things clean. And then I've already measured out some uh, ground fiberglass. And I'm just going to lay out some ground fiberglass here. Right where I put that little small dot of red dye there. Now my lights above me do emit some UV, so I, I have to kind of be a little quick with this. I use uh, the hard high temp. UV resin. And I'm just going to mix in that ground fiberglass. You can see that the resin's got just a slight little pink hue to it. Um, like I said, I, I, I'm just going to do clear on this. It's uh, in a really small and conspicuous spot. So. And I'm just mixing in that fiberglass. And now I'm going to lay my board flat before I had to raise it to get my fingers underneath of it. Sorry for the glare. I know it's hard to see with the glare. And then I'm just going to take my UV resin. And I'm going to have to raise it just a little bit. So I can see what I'm doing here. Once I find a tool that'll raise it high enough here for me. There we go. So then I just take my UV resin. And I'm just going to fill the hole that I made. And don't forget to fill all the holes. And don't worry about getting it on the leg of the transistor. My light's already setting it up. Uh, Because that transistor leg will slide right out of there. And if you get some of this UV resin in places that you don't want it, just use a Q-tip to clean up the excess. And you want to kind of make it flat. You want to make sure that the resin that you laid out is level um, for when you do the uh, when you do the trace repair. Now I'm just going to make sure and double check that everything is level and where I want it to be. And then I'm going to hit it with the UV light. It's important to use a good wattage of UV light. And no guys, you're not going to get any UV light through your screen. Sorry, but your screens don't have UV LEDs in it. Um, but um, I'm going to have to... My, I hear some music going. I don't want to get any strikes on that. But uh, I'm just going to cure up this resin here real quick. And you'll know it's cure when, cured when your transistor is pretty solid in place. Then I'm just going to slide out. The transistor leg. See how easy just slid right out of there? Leaves the resin behind. And now you have three holes in perfect locations 
or transistors to go back in uh, to do your copper repair work. So let me uh, make sure this is cured up really good here. And just like that, so now you have rock solid fiberglass infused areas of resin here. I have, it sounds like someone is playing some music, so I just got to be real careful here. I'll try to get that out through editing, but, uh, but yeah, so the resin's all cured up. It's level, it's flat. I can put a new zener down. I can lay down a new uh, gate resistor here and probably can get some new copper down to repair those areas. But that is really the basics of uh, repairing a section of board. Like I said, I had tape underneath. I don't even know if I can show you guys here. So there's that tape I was talking about, cellophane tape. And then you can just peel it right back off the board. And now your, uh, your resin that you laid out is perfectly flat and level with the board itself. So that is repairing vias on a board or even traces. It's really repairing pretty much anything uh, when it comes to uh, PCBs. You can see what I did here. Flat, level, you're ready to go. Ready to put this back together? So I do thank you guys for watching. If you have any comments, please leave them down below and I will get to you guys as soon as I can. Um, it's uh, pretty busy this time of year, but um, I do manage to get around to everyone that asks questions. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, stay safe. Keep your fingers out of the rails. This stuff can get a little spicy and uh, give you a bad day. So we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.